So it's early January here, had another freezing night, but the birds are singing, spring is on its way. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video of today about different sorts of Trachycarpus that I grow. Not them all, but just a few of the most popular ones. These guys here are Trachycarpus fortunii, uh, most common sort in the UK. You literally don't have to do anything uh, to them, no special care, they're very hardy. They do have big leaves. Uh, these ones have been bought as relatively large plants, they'll take a while to get to the full glory. They do have big leaves, uh, so they definitely add to the exotic appearance, but they are prone to getting damaged by the wind, getting bashed around, so they don't always look the tidiest. But as a plant, as a backing plant, as part of the planting scheme, I don't think you can beat them really. They have flowers, berries later in the year. As you can see, they're frosted over at the minute, just a light frost, but they'll be absolutely fine. They do grow very quick, and in my opinion, they're better off being planted small. But I had these guys, so this is where they're going. The planting of this row is a bit more formal, but the plan is to offset it with more sort of loose jungle planting in the front, definitely during the summer months. And the hope is that over time, these will grow up and provide a lot of shelter to the more tender, chefflerers, fatsiers, everything underneath. This is probably the second most popular variety of Trachycarpus. Um, most people call them waggies, waggy palms, because their actual name is Wagnerianus, which isn't very popular. Now, they're very similar to Trachycarpus fortunii with the trunk, same sort of hairy or furry trunk, but the leaves are a lot more compact and a lot stiffer. They do tend to be shorter, or smaller leaves, should I say, but because of this, they're a lot more wind resistant Again, they're very frost resistant, probably not quite as much as Fortunii, but they're a plant you can put in and not have to worry about. In my opinion, they definitely look better as a smaller plant. As they get taller, the crown looks a bit out of proportion, but I still like them. The mix of these with the sort of softer foliage definitely works. So this is a smaller waggy palm. It's still potted for now, but it will be planted out later in the year. I've grown this one from a plant about a foot tall. They're not, not very fast, but again, they're not very slow. Probably in ideal conditions, six inches to a foot a year is definitely achievable. I think they're a great choice for a more compact location. Uh, also anywhere with high wind, these are just a go-to choice every time. You don't have to do anything to them. Special care, maybe chop off the old fronds as they turn brown. But other than that, they're pretty easy. So this is one of my favorite palms in the garden. It's a Trachycarpus princeps new form hybrid or new hybrid. Uh, they were quite readily available a couple of years ago, but they're definitely not as common now. Um, they're a very fast growing palm compared to the waggies, definitely. They've got a lot bigger leaves. And they've got a fantastic bluey silver underside to them, which is why they're one of my favorites. And they definitely feature more on my Instagram than most of the palms. And finally for today, this is a Trachycarpus nova. Uh, probably not quite as hardy as the Fortunii or waggies but they're a very, very fast growing palm. Probably the fastest Trachycarpus, or maybe even fastest palm you can grow in the UK. Uh, I've had a good batch of these from very small plants. These can definitely grow a foot a year when they're planted out and settled in. Obviously, we only moved in a few months back, so this is gonna take a while, but I'd like to see this year or the year after, it's gonna put on some trunk in size pretty quickly. Now, the leaves for these, or the fronds, they've got a lot more stretched appearance. They don't look the best today with the frost, but you can see they're a lot more graceful if they're in a sheltered area. The downside to that is if they're in a windy location, they will get bashed around. However, I think they're still different enough from Fortunii to give them a shot. And the graceful fronds definitely mean they deserve a place in my jungle garden. That's it for today, just a quick look in a cold winter's morning at some of the more common Trachycarpus species that I grow. They don't have to be expensive, they grow quickly, they're hardy, don't take a lot of looking after at all, and I think they're an essential part of growing a tropical garden, jungle garden, here in the UK. I'll do a video soon about some of the more unusual feather palms that I grow. They do take a bit more care, potentially, but I think they all work very well together and add to the jungle look. Thanks for watching.